Um, so I thought about war often, and I'm deeply concerned about it, as should we all be. The, the tribalistic urges that we all have to divide ourselves and, and exaggerate what is different rather than absorb what is similar, it's, 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 it's extraordinary. Oh, you're, you're, you were born on this other line in the sand? That's reason enough for me to harm you, possibly even kill you. You, you sleep with different members of your own species than I do, you're an enemy. You worship these gods instead of these gods or that god or no god, and it's not my god, I'm gonna kill you for this. Think about all the reasons we come up with to commit violence upon one another. And all I'm saying is that if you ascend Earth, sure, go to the moon. Not this, you know, one thickness of a dime above Earth stuff. Go out where you now see Earth suspended in space with no hint that help is gonna come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. That is a cosmic perspective. And you know who had that perspective? Apollo 14 astronaut, Edgar Mitchell. Because we went to the moon to explore the moon and we looked over our shoulder and discovered Earth for the first time. Do you realize most, most of the environmental protection laws that were passed in this country were passed while we were on the moon. Do you know the, the EPA was signed into law in 1970 by a Republican president, I might add. That's how forceful this was, okay? The environmental, NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that cares about the oceans and the atmosphere and the air you breathe, 1970. Leaded gas was banned over those per that period of time. The Comprehensive Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act. Earth Day was invented in 1970. You could have had it in 1960, but nobody thought of it. It could have waited until 1980. That would have been too late. The moment was, oh my gosh, Earth is right there in the sky. Here's what Edgar Mitchell said. He said, you develop an instant global consciousness, a people orientation, an intense dissatisfaction with the state of the world and a compulsion to do something about it. From out there on the moon, international politics looks so petty. You wanna grab a politician by the scruff of the neck and drag him a quarter million miles out and say, look at that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Wow. My boy was feeling the cosmic perspective. The point is when you step away, there, you don't see the national borders, you don't see, and, and I, I make reference to aliens, back to your, your favorite sub subject, if, if an alien came upon Earth and sees this one species, Homo sapiens, so, oh, they, they, they've spread all over the world. That's great. We love that. Um, let's look a little closer. Oh, wait a minute. They're harming them, and they're killing them, and they're riding over here. And, and why? Oh, because the, their skin color is differently reflective of sunlight than their skin color. Or well, they're worshiping. The, and, and they will learn all of this about us, and they'll rush back home and report that there's no sign of intelligent life on Earth. What? <laughs>